So what's good guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you loops. I said in my previous video that I'm going to be teaching you guys loops. And that's what I'm going to be doing now. So we have um, five types of loops. We have the do what? Do while loop, we have the while loop, we have the for loop. For loop is in, is in three different uh, category. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use the two while loop, the do while loop and the while loop. Let's open the Bits. The do I look is written like this. I do yeah. then we have the Y. This is the do I do. So we have the statement in this place and we have the boolean condition in this place. So let's say for example let's say for example okay, So we have the new line and say integer integer and let's say integer and equals to one so use the do while So it could be B. This is then. Count, it is C. Here you go. I thought count. I forget the semicolon. And we have the while do while this while before we do that let's add the um plus plus so we can add the condition here which is count less than less than 10 so do this while this is is going to check do this while this is it's going to be checking it until it gets to 
So let's debug this. Let's see. Debug only. So I'm two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, to nine. So that's pretty much what do while loop does. So for do while loop, this um, we have the the while which has the uh, condition checks whether the condition is true. If it is true, it executes this count. So this count plus plus here. It's also the same thing as count plus one. So once the we have the integer here, so it checks it checks this condition is count less than one. If count is less than one, it, 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 it prints out this count. It goes back again checks if one if count is less than 10 and it prints out until it gets to where count is not less than 10 so in our debug in our debug we have we have one to nine which means it could not print out 10 because 10 is not less than 10 so it has to stop at 9 so that's these are the kind of things you can use do while loop to do you can use it to insert you can use it for a dml statement to insert record to insert record into salesforce org you can use it for pretty much anything in salesforce so we also have the while loop the while loop is written as this something like this the while loop is written like this I have the condition inside this place. Right, the condition. Then we have the code block here. Code block. So the difference between the while loop and the do while loop is that the the do while loop performs the action first, then checks the condition. But for the while loop, it performs the condition first, then checks the condition first. Then perform the action in the code block section. So, let's write a code with this file. While loop. Trying to comment this out. Yeah. 
so share yeah. write the same code we did we wrote for do while so why condition should be count Look inside here. This is the block. Um, and we can use count. Don't forget count plus plus is also the same thing as count plus one. So let's debug this. 